This is an excerpt from the audiobook of From Coping to Thriving, How to Turn Self-Care into a Way of Life, by Hannah Brame, from becomingwhoyouare.net. 30. Write a letter to your future self. Needs. Acceptance. Affection. Appreciation. Communication. Connection. Companionship. Compassion. Consideration. Empathy. Love. Nurturing. Self-respect. Honesty. Joy. Harmony. Meaning. Celebration of life. Consciousness. Creativity. Discovery. Efficacy. Effectiveness, growth, hope, learning, self-expression, to matter, and understanding. Writing a letter to our past selves is an effective self-therapy tool that can help us process our histories, specific events, the emotional consequences, and develop our empathy and acceptance of our past selves. Here we're going to turn this idea around and write a letter to ourselves in the future. How it works. Writing effective letters to our future selves requires a pen, paper, envelope, or a computer, plus a willingness to introspect and identify what we love and appreciate about ourselves. When you do this, it's helpful to think of your best self. Why would you describe that version of yourself as your best self, and what do you love about that self in particular? To start, make a list of all the qualities you love about yourself. Do not skip this step. It might feel uncomfortable and rather like writing a resume at first, but sit with that discomfort and try to focus on what you like about yourself as a person as opposed to what you've achieved. If it feels really uncomfortable, set a timer for 20 minutes, and at the end of 20 minutes, you can get up and walk away from your list. While that timer is running, however, you're going to sit, think about, and write down the things that make you, you, and why you appreciate and enjoy them. When it comes to writing the letter, start by addressing yourself. For me, this would look like, Dear Hannah. Then, continue to write the most honestly and genuinely gushing message you have ever written to anyone. And I don't mean ass-kissing. That won't come across as genuine or convincing. Instead, I'm talking about an authentic and vulnerable expression of your love. If the idea of writing a love letter to yourself weirds you out, as it did with me at first, pretend that you're someone else writing a letter to your name here. Talk about all the great, wonderful, lovable, admirable, and attractive qualities you have, and don't hold back. This letter is for you only, so don't worry about what other people would think if they read it. It's none of their business. When you're done, seal it in an envelope or save it to your hard drive and wait. At this point, you have a choice. You can either wait for an unspecified point in the future until you need a pick-me-up or a way to press the reset button on your inner critic. Or alternatively, you can specify a date, writing it on the front of the envelope or storing it on your hard drive marked to open date here. This is especially useful if you know you have a challenging time coming up that's going to stretch you emotionally or push you outside of your comfort zone. If you know there's a specific time in the future, near or distant, when you're going to need support, name that date and store the letter until then. Why it works. Writing a letter to yourself in the future enhances your self-care in two ways. One, it encourages you to focus on the positive aspects of yourself and strengthens your inner nurturing voice. Two, it gives you a tool for self-soothing and self-comforting at a time when you need it the most. When we're faced with situations that heighten our emotions and provoke overwhelm, it can be challenging for us to bring ourselves back to a place of internal stability and comfort where we feel able to cope with what life throws at us. Whether you write the letter with a specific date in mind or simply save it until you feel you need support, it acts as an external source of reassurance, validation, and strength. Even though you were the one who wrote the letter, after enough time passes, you'll have enough distance from your words so that they feel fresh during a time of need. Other thoughts. If you're composing your letter digitally, make use of available technology. For example, Gmail users can use an app called Boomerang and schedule their letters to land in their inboxes on a certain date. If you enjoyed listening to this excerpt from From Coping to Thriving, How to Turn Self-Care into a Way of Life, you may want to listen to the rest of the audiobook. You can find it on Amazon, iTunes, and Audible. 
You might also like the author's website, becomingwhoyouare.net, where you can find more content related to what you've just heard from the author, Hannah Brain.